Hi guys, how are you? Have you subscribed to my channel yet? If you haven't, you better and get notifications. Uh, so today is the day after week five weigh-in. Now, I'm not going to tell you just yet. <laughs> no, I am going to tell you actually because I think this is the theme of my video for today. Um, now, all week I've been really good. If you followed me, you would have seen some of the meals I've prepared and I've kept on track all week until I had to go away with work. And the hotel I stayed in, it's one I stayed in for the last seven years, I know it well, um, but they've changed the menu a little bit. And the um, evening meal, there was nothing on there that I can say I could have had a Cinebrae. So I went for what I really fancied and what I could have. So I knew it was gonna be an off-plan meal. Okay, but, we always say on Slim World is one off plan meal doesn't make a disastrous week. Okay? I didn't have a starter, I didn't have a dessert, I just had the main. Okay? It was a pulled pork with triple chips, but it was about eight chips, if that. So I knew it was probably going to be over since because I don't know what the sauce is made of, but it wasn't a cream sauce, which everything else would have been in cream or in butter and things like that. So next morning at breakfast, um, again they've changed their breakfast they used to do a really good selection of fresh fruit which I used to fill up on um, and then I'd have like poached egg and smoked salmon I don't do that anymore so the the um, sort of the, the buffet style breakfast they had there was all tin fruit and I know tin fruit has hidden sugars in it so I avoided like the plague it did have a fruit bowl there um, not great selection, but did have a pair, so I had a pair from that. That wholemeal bread, so I did some wholemeal toast, had it dry. And then for my hot breakfast, I had bacon with all fat removed. I had a, a corn sausage, which I had one tiny mouthful, didn't like it, I left it. Had a poached egg, baked beans, I had grilled tomato, half a grilled tomato, and a grilled um, mushroom. That was my breakfast. So actually, in the scheme of things, that was really good. Then for lunch, um, where I was was like loads of warehouses. Um, so anything on site would have been a burger bar sort of thing. So didn't do that. But on the way out towards the motorway, uh, they built this brand new housing estate. And with that has come an oldie and a Marks and Spencer's food hall. So I thought I'd go to Marks and Spencer's to get some to eat. But obviously it doesn't cater for like lunches really there was a very small i had to ask somebody where their pre-packed sandwiches and things were hoping for a salad all the salads were in mayonnaise the pastas everything were really high cal calories and i was looking at all the fat content and it was really high so i was really disappointed with marks and spencers i have to say the sandwiches, say, I looked at and I was thinking, right, you know, what is the best thing I can have? I'm starving, I need something to eat. Did get a pot of mixed fruit and um, a Diet Coke, but I kept going up and down, up and down, but this is ridiculous. So in the end, I found a chicken sandwich. It was a no mayo chicken sandwich. It was the lowest calories and lowest fat content. It was 9% fat. So again, I knew it was going to be off plan, but it was the best I could do out of a bad sort of situation. I drove home and went to weigh in. I got on the scales. Now, I haven't been good for a week, bar two meals, which potentially were off plan. Okay, but not massively, not huge. Um, so I'd expect pound on, maintain, three pound on. I kid you not, I was furious. I was so disappointed. As it was because I'd just driven for four hours home, I wasn't gonna stay to group because I just wanted to go home. You know, I put my suitcase in and, and changed because my clothes were not Slim World weight. Um, if you go Slim World regularly, you know you have a certain weight for your clothes to make sure it doesn't affect the scales. So I was literally wasn't going to stay anywhere, and I was thankful for that because I was so gutted. I was like, right, that's it. Once my 12 week plan's finished, I'm not going to Slim World ever again. This is ridiculous now. Um, and went to Sainsbury's on the way home because I hadn't got anything in for dinner or taken anything out of the freezer. So. Do you know what I did? I bought pizza. Bought a pizza for me and hubby and garlic bread. I have not had a pizza for three years since I've done Slim World, guys. No. Nope. I've avoided them because they're so high sins. If I have a pizza, you will see I've done low dough and I've done a Weight Watchers wrap pizza. I've even done a turkey mince pizza. 
but I've not had a proper pizza dough pizza in over three years. And I was just so angry, I just thought, do you know what, I don't care. I've been good, and I've, just, have I deprived myself? I've not had some things because I haven't wanted the sins, I'll be honest. And I had it, and I enjoyed it. And then I went to bed last night, and in my head, all night, it was going round. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling guilty about the pizza, I'll be honest with you, I was not feeling guilty, guilty about the pizza at all, because I enjoyed it, and I think I needed it. But in my head, I kept saying to myself, I don't understand why I put this weight on, and I don't, I really do not understand. It could be water, it could be a lot of things, but I don't want to get into the position where I've put all the weight back on that I've lost. Yes, I have put on about half a pound what I lost last month, and I'm really quite angry about it, but if I don't get back on plan, I'm going to be even worse next week. And I might go, yeah, I know why I did it. You know, I've put loads of weight on, but I really enjoyed everything. I'm still not going to like that number on the scales. And I know that in my heart of hearts, I know I ultimately don't like the scales at the moment. And I've got this ball coming up and I really want to feel the best. So um, I suppose in my sleep, subconsciously I gave myself talking to. I did. And then this morning I got up and I thought, right, Marit, let's get back to it. I wasn't sure what I had for breakfast or for lunch, so I made myself a three egg omelette um, with um, 30 grams of cheese, which I weighed, and put some ham on it, and then put it into a quarter and put it in a box to take to work, which is here. And then I went to go to the fridge to um, have a look for something, because I realised there was one piece of my curry loaf left, which is free because um, it's so small now that actually even if I sin the rice there's so little sin in that so for me it would be hardly anything so I went to the fridge to get that out and realised I've forgotten I've batch cooked some oats, um, baked oats um, and they're coming out on my um, YouTube tomorrow so the curry loaf and the baked oats are on tomorrow's um, YouTube video so um, if you want to know what they're like tuned to those so I was over the moon because suddenly I was going from oh my god what am I going to have am I going to spoil it already on day one of telling myself to sort yourself out but I wasn't I took a Miller light which was half a sin and a banana and some satsumas and um, a little pot of uh, fresh fruit so my lunch bag today was spot on I was over the moon um, as it happened, um, my satsumas came back with me um, because I didn't get a chance to eat them. I didn't eat my curry loaf either because I didn't need them. With the baked oats and the omelette, that was sufficient for me. So I was over the moon. What I did do this morning as well is I took a fresh chicken out of the freezer um, and that got put into the slow cooker. And um, I've done this loads of times, guys, and it's a quick and easy way of having a roast chicken without having to roast anything to put my um, extractor fan light on. And all I did was literally pop the chicken as it is into the cooker. No sauces, no juice, nothing. Um, so here it is when it went in. And do you want to see what it looks like now? Let me show you from here. Look, it's cooking away here. And it actually looks like it's been roasted and it actually hasn't. That lid's probably the first time it's come off since it went in this morning. Now that will melt when I take it out. And you see down here with these lovely juices? I now have a chicken stock, which I can put into a container and use any other time. If I show you this one, this is one from the other day um, where I did exactly the same with the chicken. And what's happened now, at the bottom there, you'll see all the chicken stock and then the fat has um, slowed to the top. So that will keep in the fridge for about a week to two weeks. And all I'll do is take the uh, fat off that, and if I need fresh chicken stock, I have got it. And I'm going to do exactly the same with that over there. I don't know what happened there. You went really out of focus. I think you're probably too close to the camera, so I do apologise for that. So, yeah, so I'm having that chicken tonight, and I'm going to have it with some broccoli and some roasted sweet potato, which will be free. So sin-wise today, all I've had is half a sin for my mother light. I'm going to keep it at that, because... I need a weight loss. I don't know what's going on with these scales at the moment, guys, because, you know, I am very honest about what I eat and don't eat, and there's no point lying, because who am I kidding? Um, certainly not gonna kid you guys, um, and I'm not gonna kid myself. So yeah, so I'm just gonna sort it out, guys, and I'm just gonna keep going. 
you know it's so easy to give up and i'm so glad that i've got the 12 week plan because it would be easier to give up but i'm not going to waste that money so that's my honest account of my weigh-in for this week guys if you want to see how my week ahead goes then obviously you do need to subscribe to my channel don't you and then once you've done that you need to click notifications and give me a thumbs up and if you've had a really bad weigh-in and you haven't expected it tell me why do you know do you, do you know what did it are you disappointed i don't know share it with me guys make me feel a bit better about myself won't you all right guys well i will give you a show at the end of this video of my lunch not my lunch my dinner even and um, i will see you guys next week and hopefully it could be a more positive video if I'm seeing the dancing, you know it will be. Okay, guys, subscribe and notifications. See you soon. Bye.